I so I I have so many ideas that I'm so excited to share because I'm going yeah to have my own little yeah a journey into vlogging. Um so first off we are new homeowners first time homeowners and that is really exciting because now we get some hands on on how to be homeowners <laughs> like different experiences with fixing up things and home improvements upgrades and repairs and all that stuff like so we can start you know gaining some skills be self-sufficient that kind of stuff because I don't want to just live having everybody do everything for us when we can do things too. You know what I'm saying? Like being in the military, you know, um, I'm not the one in the military, my husband is, but you know, we've stayed in military housing for a long time and anything goes wrong, you call it military housing. Yo, 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 <laughs> something's broken. Come fix it. Getting to the exciting, exciting part. We have a peach tree in the backyard. I'm gonna show you. All right, so here is the peach tree. It has a few flowers blooming on here, but I um I don't know, you know. If the owners prior to us moving here was doing anything to take care of the tree. So next door is a cherry blossom tree. Hi! But um, yeah, I don't know if they were doing anything to take care of it. But I did do some digging down here. Just a little bit to basically get out any... Um, what is it? I know they call it like different larvas and stuff like that that harms the tree. I'm not like a professional or nothing, but you know, I watched a few videos and I'm just gonna kind of go with what I saw um, and just see what I can do to hopefully help it start producing peaches. But um, I just got some um, pruning scissors if that's what they're called and some other things to start you know cutting away the like dead the dead branches that just are not doing anything so but around here we got it's a little bit of flowers blooming and stuff they're so pretty oh my gosh so yeah I'm gonna keep you updated with that. But yeah, I'm like I'm so excited because I wanted to get hands on with planting and just gardening. I think that's the same thing. I don't think I know. I know it's the same thing. <laughs> but it's you know, it's an important skill to have and I'm really excited about this tree because you know, I know I could start over, but I kind of just want to see what I can do with this one because, you know, I, let's say I start growing and, you know, something happens along the line where, you know, anything, different pests that get in the plant that starts to kill it. I, I think I like this approach to, you know, get it to start gaining its strength back listen to me talking about helping a tree gain its strength back like i can't wait i want to see peaches start to grow on the tree and 
watched a lot of YouTube videos to educate myself. So I'm going to see how it goes. I'll keep y'all posted with it. Um, and I prayed over the tree too. I pray over my tree. I go out there and I talk to my tree. I've been just learning a lot of skill in different areas. Cooking, you know, I never used to like baking, but I feel like it's very important to know how to do that. Now I can bake breads, um, my loaves of bread, cornbread, biscuits, um, waffles. Like I have different recipes now that I just, that, that are my go-tos and stuff. Um, cause I just want to make sure that I know how to set us up to where anything goes wrong. Cause you already know if you're a believer in Christ, things is going to go down, but to have some skills in different areas in life, especially the ones that challenge you to like, really, really think, <laughs> challenge you to like, get hands on to create I want to do that. Which brings me to the reason why I'm making this video today. So the topic today is going to be prioritizing. Not only that, but just the different things that I want to change about myself. Um, the older I get, I don't want to be stuck in old ways. You know, I don't want to be, you know spending years just doing things in vain i don't want to be spending years not gaining any knowledge or growing or changing you know it's all the same i don't want to spend my time doing pointless things i just don't want to do that no more because honestly it does nothing for me and i've been realizing that you know, I'm 28 and I've made a lot of improvements. I've done a lot of growing. I've done a lot of learning in my life that I am so thankful to Jesus for because honestly, had it not been for him, had it not been for the most high God, Jesus Christ, I would not, I would have, I would haven't. I would have not gotten myself together. I'm going to come out any other way. I don't know why it just was coming out that way. So I'm just going to let it be what it is. And so I just have a lot of things I want to do differently. So I'm not going to talk the talk. I'm going to walk the walk because, you know, actions speak louder. And I want my actions to speak louder, especially when I'm telling myself, like, I know I would tell myself, like, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And sometimes I allow just different things to get in my way. And I feel like I look at them and I just be like, is that really an excuse? I just be like, nah, that's, that's, that's not a good excuse because you could have did that and you could have did this and you also could have did that. It's like, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So what you gonna do? And here I am. I deleted my TikTok this morning because it served the purpose that it was intended for. I used it to release a lot of how I was feeling, share a lot of parts of me that I needed fixing. And as well as I really enjoy being an ambassador of Christ because when you allow him to use you, you start to feel how he feels. You start to see what he sees and this world is hurting. A lot of us in this world, the humans, you just might as well say that, like everybody, we, we a lot of us are hurting. But he tells us to let our light shine, but you can't do that without his guidance. And... Anytime I posted a video, it was because of the joy that the Lord brings me. And so I want to share it with others because I know that there are a lot of people out there who need some something to hold on to, something to 
be happy about or just to be free from you know there's just it's so much it's, it's so many different things like satan is uh, on attack mode all the time it was never about you know the following like i want to say like in the beginning when i started tiktok yeah because you know you of course you look at okay how can i get my following up how can i get people to notice you know my videos and stuff like that and you see different things I went through the phase of, you know, okay, I got to keep up with this trend or I got to do that trend. And a lot of it is a, not being yourself, you know. Seeing that originality is what really gained your audience. And once I started doing that, I also was on this journey of growing in the Lord. So with that, I'm like, I don't want to create thirst trap videos. I don't want to dance to all these explicit songs. I want to make sure that I dress with modesty. I want to show women that you don't have to be half naked or nasty, you know, just attitude wise. You don't have to carry yourself the way the world would want us to carry ourselves so i basically just started changing how i was so that way i can let women know those who don't know it's okay it's it's actually for our benefit it's for our benefit to be to be virtuous women man it's for our benefit because of self-respect those morals it's 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 it, you set boundaries you see yourself in this light you ever have those moments where people be like oh you know certain people say things about you and if you believe it then that becomes your reality i was so tired of feeling like i wasn't good enough because i had a baby now i got a mommy pooch and People was like, oh, you must be pregnant. Oh, you know, you gotta, you gotta have the the best fitting body, and oh, you gotta do this with your hair, and oh, like I, I, I didn't appreciate my natural hair. Like, there was so many different things about myself that I was not embracing, and it, it wasn't me. And so now I'm in this mindset that I'm happy to be me. I'm happy to be who I am, unapologetically. I am me. I love the me that I had the potential to be. I just got away from myself because of the different views and the lack of understanding. And now that the Lord has brought me back, I'm just like, I love it here. It's so, it's, it's, it's so freeing. And you learn to not care about all of the vain things in the world you come out of the world like literally i post scripture here and there but um honestly it's been a journey and like i said i've just been making a lot of changes and i hope this video you know helps to to see the full potential in yourself to see like it's okay to be different and the most important thing is a lot of why things start to work out for the better is with aligning your steps with how God would want you to be because he knows all. He created this world. He knows us. Future. Future. That's not the future. That's the future. Past, present, future. He knows everything. So allowing him to guide you through all of the things that we go through in life, he has our best interest. He loves us way more than the next person. Like, for real, for real, he loves us way, way more. Shoot, he loves us more than we love ourselves. Like, that's another thing. I've been learning to see myself through God's eyes and not the eyes of the world because you see, seeing ourselves through that person's eyes or that person's eyes sometimes it will create you to be someone that you don't you like you won't even like yourself so i love myself more seeing myself through god's eyes and it's not a unhealthy type of love like i'm not talking about being so headstrong and just bougie and my 
tablet died in the middle of me talking. And I thought I lost that whole clip. But praise God, because it's still there. Yes. I was going to cry. I was going to cry. But like I was saying, basically, it's just healthy self-esteem. Please follow Bible Christian Fellowship of the Spirit. We get on there. We, ha we have a lot of different topics just talking about so many different things. Like to be smack dab in the middle of all of this amazing, edifying conversation. It's so liberating and it's so refreshing because, you know, I, I want to learn more as much as I can. I know that I'm going to learn things each and every day and I'm so open to it because anything to make me a better person better than who I was before I'm all for it because I don't want like I said I don't want to continue to grow and be stuck in old ways like the Lord tells us to put off the old man and be renewed you know become new in our mind and just how we are like it's 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 a lot you know what I'm saying I'm not going to make this video too long. Um, I'm going to keep y'all posted with more things. Like I said, I have just so many ideas and things that I want to share. And this is going to be exciting. And I, you know, I like, I'm excited. I deleted my TikTok, so I will not be linking that anymore. Um, so I just have my main page on Facebook, Good Carpool. Uh, five on Facebook and I still have my good carpool five Instagram and of course YouTube so those are all of my platforms because it's about business now yeah we're gonna get to the business you heard me I have no sense thank you for watching subscribe and like comment share your thoughts and everything and you know be looking forward to more. I'm so excited for this journey, man. Remember, Jesus is our Savior. And until next time.